Bees are so important to the health and productivity of my garden, so I encourage them whenever I can. This is a native bee hotel I built a few years ago, and it's had a really high occupancy rate. But with over 1,600 native bee species in Australia, when it comes to designing and building accommodation, it's not a case of one size fits all. Big isn't always best. Research shows native bees are often better serviced by smaller boutique accommodation, and that larger insect hotels are great to look at, but they can also be very attractive sites for native bee predators to set up shop, such as wasps and spiders. So I'm going to show you how to build three different boutique bee suites to suit a range of native bees. Bee hotel guests like resin bees, leafcutter bees and carpenter bees are used to residing in nests in hollow dead pithy stems, branches or tree trunks. It's easy to replicate this habitat by bundling together sticks that are hollow on the inside. Cut the stalks into sections between 10 and 15 centimetres long, making sure that you leave an enclosed or blind end on one of the sections to encourage the bees to build a nest. Once you've got your cut lengths, you need to make sure that you use a garden skewer or knitting needle to open up the insides and squash any of the pithy centre in there. So we need that to be nice and open so the bees can come in. The other thing you need to make sure is that there's no sharp bits that the bees are going to trip up on. Bundle your stems in a plastic bottle with the top removed or a long tin which is open on one end. Using string or wire, hang your stem bundle about a metre off the ground in a protected spot. Good morning sun is ideal and make sure that it doesn't swing in the breeze. The block suite I have in mind is designed to attract resin bees, masked bees, wasp mimic bees and again the good old leaf cutter bee. These bees like to nest in a block, a block of wood with holes in it. Now you can use tree off cuts and they work really well or you can use pieces of timber as long as you make sure that it's not treated. Now it's important to make sure you've got about 140 millimetres depth in which to drill and this piece is about 50 millimetres by 200 millimetres and you need to drill a different range of hole sizes into that. Tape or mark the drill bit at 10 centimetres from the tip as a depth guide. Drill holes to a depth of 10 centimetres with a diameter between 3 and 8 millimetres. Space each hole about 2 centimetres apart. Try to mimic random patterns of nature, so avoid straight lines. Don't forget to tap your block to remove the sawdust in the hole. Once you've got it drilled, you've got to check the face and feel to make sure there are no sharp burrs near the entrances and either use a file or sandpaper to get rid of that. And this needs to be positioned getting the morning sun in a protected spot, about a metre off the ground. Blue banded bees are the bricks and mortar type. They dig their nests in clay rich soils and they'll even nest in between broken mortar on your house. I love these buzz pollinators, so I'm going to build some clay nesting blocks. We're going to be mixing seven parts bricky sand to one part garden clay. If your clay is dry or chunky, pulverise it. Sift the clay to remove rocks or sticks. And then mix your portions while dry before adding water. You want the mix to be a firm consistency that allows you to make it into a thick paste so that you can stack it into open-ended containers. There's lots of things you could use like PVC pipes, Besser bricks or old terracotta pipes. Make sure you stand your block on something solid while the clay dries. 
you need to let these dry, but just before they set hard, you need to push in some holes. They need to be eight millimetres wide and 10 to 15 centimetres deep. I'm using metal rods, but you could also use a pencil that works just as well. Position blocks in a dry location with morning sun at a low level. By keeping it simple, there's no excuse not to make a mini bee hotel. After all, the more places in the environment for native bees to nest, the better. Don't forget though, that there's no bee hotel without a bee restaurant. Native bees are more likely to visit your garden if you've got plants in flower throughout the year for them to gather nectar and pollen.